Uh, a, a wonderful welcome to you all. Um, I'm really pleased to be joined tonight by Mrs. Jeffries and Mrs. Hurley, who uh, together we make the sick form team and they'll be contributing uh, to some sections of, of tonight's presentation. Um, the essence of tonight is to share with you uh, some really important, um, and I've just had a message to say your meeting will end in 10 minutes. Why would that be? That's very bizarre. Right, if you have a problem with the meeting folks, Stay tuned in and I'll restart the meeting. OK, I don't know what's going on there. So uh, we're going to talk about transitioning to sick form life. And there's a couple of important initiatives that we have in place to, uh, to help along. But as always, uh, there we go. There we go. So you can see the, uh, the various parts. We'll talk about bridging work. We'll talk about uh, stepping to sick form taste a week. Um, and part of that is to talk about llama sessions. Hopefully we'll have uh, a, a get together with our incoming year 12s. And there will be time at the end for questions and answers. If you have anything that's specific to yourselves, then you'd be better off emailing uh, sickform at macaulay.org.uk. But in the chat facility, you may ask any questions um, through there. And we'll try and answer as many as we can today. But as always, we will start in prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For I know your plans. Uh, sorry, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Heavenly Father, we bring before you year 11s from Macaulay and beyond who are on the threshold of new beginnings in the sick form. Let your spirit ignite a zest for learning within us all and help us to use our gifts and talents well. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'll do um, a, a, an applications update. Um, I'm sure you've got lots of questions, uh, so do feel free to ask through chat or individual ones through uh, the school email. But we've offered an unprecedented number of uh, offers this year, over 250 and still climbing. Um, many thanks to those that have confirmed. Um, you haven't committed by confirming. All, all, all we want really is an idea if you've got a strong intention to take up your place. That really helps us plan the curriculum and the staffing and all that for next year so if you haven't yet confirmed it would be really useful if you do i know we put a deadline on it but it would still be helpful if that uh, was done and um, we have over 70 students who have what we call early enrollment offers now those um as we mentioned in the february meeting they are for people that uh, we think through all the sar reports and tracking that we have that we are suitably convinced to uh, offer a place without the need for their results on results day. Um, all others are conditional and we'll be waiting on results day uh, to, to make final decisions for those students. Okay. Um, whatever the situation, we've got a colossal curriculum and we really want to uh, have you in McCall if this is where you want to continue your studies so every applicant will have a meeting with us um, and if things don't work out how you wanted them then we will still have a discussion about putting together uh, a curriculum that's right for you so nobody's going to be dismissed or ignored we'll be meeting chatting with all of you at some point and we will still consider late applications so uh, if your friends are still uh, weighing up one place or another, even though the deadline has passed, I will still very much consider uh, applications. Really, if you want to stop on in our sick form, you know, we'll uh, give you the respect to um, to look at what we can do for you. Um, subjects have now been assigned into blocks and this allows us to timetable. So this is what the timetable would look like. There's a bit of a delay on my screen share. There we go. Oh, there's my slide gone there. There we go. Locks. So um, what happens with the timetable is subjects in block one, for example, all appear at the same time on timetables. So if you wish to do uh, applied law and Spanish, let's say, within your subjects, then there would be what we call a clash. 
which means that students would either have to choose one of those or we would look to move uh, blocks. Now, that's not an easy thing, as you can imagine, in a school of our size, but we do genuinely look to do that. But um, there you get a flavour of where we're at at the moment. Uh, one of two things are likely to move in the days ahead. So we're not sharing this um, more formally uh, through through letters home. But our, my job really is to minimise clashes. It's inevitable, though, that there will be some. Now, because you will have uh, ranked your subject in order, your first priority subject, you can be guaranteed. Your second priority subject is very, very likely. But as you go down the list, clashes may appear. So when, when I've put, put it all together, over 90% of applications have, uh, or students have their top three subjects assigned to them. And that's a really, really good return. So because most students only do three A-levels anyway, that uh, is pretty good. And of course, if, if, you, if you want your fourth subject and not your third subject, we can make changes further down the track. And remember, we, we're really flexible on this. We'll accommodate students' requests, you know, wh whenever we can. And even in September, when you've got your feet under the table, uh, we can still make changes at that time. Okay. Um, in terms of enrolment, those who have had an early enrolment offer will be offered an opportunity to enroll on Wednesday, the 23rd of June. Um, all other uh, offers can be resolved on Thursday the 12th of August and that's the GCSE results day this year. So you will get a time uh, in which you can meet with us and either confirm all your choices if you get the grades or, or we'll have a discussion and uh, you know it's not as it's not as black and white as you get the grades or you don't. We will always have discussions with students um, according to their needs so uh, don't panic if you haven't quite got what you wanted uh, you know we can have a really good discussion about getting a suitable suite of subjects that's right for you and if you do better than perhaps you thought and maybe you thought there was a subject that you were interested in but didn't think you'd get the grades to do you, you may be able to move on to that too so we're, we're really flexible for as long as possible okay so I'll just have a look at the chat, see if there's any obvious questions. Yeah, it's a good point. If you haven't had your sixth phone call, we, we do work extremely hard uh, through lockdown to phone everybody uh, in year 12, sorry, in year 11, and also our applicants from other schools. I am aware of a, of a small number who may not have had that discussion, but be believe me, <laughs> um, the, the whole team was really putting a lot of work into making all the phone calls uh, if you can imagine um trying to phone home without being able to see the students um sometimes people weren't in uh, sometimes we had to leave a message sometimes we asked for times that might be more suitable and you can imagine after three or four um correspondences you know we, we end up running out of time so uh, if if you haven't had the conversation and you still would like one, please do email sickform at macaulay.org.uk and we will uh, most certainly be in touch. One of the team will be in touch. Okay. Changing subjects, good question. Um, so, changing subjects, just email me, arshenton at macaulay.org.uk or sickform, and uh, we will uh, look to see what changes we can make. Okay. The jump card and have to go to school lo logo. No, we abandoned the school logo uh, because they were very expensive and actually not the most hard wearing. So we've changed this school uniform to simple black tops. More information on that at enrolment. Um, if you have two subjects in one block, yes, uh, yes, you would. Um, there are exceptions. For example, maths appears in three blocks, so I can move things around. So what I do is I try to get everyone's choices the best that I can uh, on that. Um, yeah, dropping one's very common. Uh, mainly students do that at enrolment or they do it in September when they have they might have two subjects where they weren't really decided and want to try it out. And we really recommend that actually. So by the end of September, we would say that the vast majority of students are on three subjects. 
Induction, yes, you will. In the first week, we've got a really good induction at Macaulay and more details will follow on that. Don't go straight into lessons on day one. There'll be a, a period of induction into the sick form. Um, yeah, but blocking is a very complex thing. Basically, in year 13, we've got two blocks of biology, uh, one and three. So it alternates every year. So uniform, uh, there's only ties that you'll need specifically from school. They can be bought uh, on enrolment day or in September. That's from the sick form admin office. And I think they're £7.50 each. Uh, they might be slightly different this year. So that's something that will happen uh, at a later date. Okay. Um, I think that's it for questions for now. That's all good. So uh, that, that's the situation with the blogging. And uh, as I say, for the vast, vast majority of students, that uh, enables you to have the combination that you want. Uh, in terms of transition uh, in the February meeting I shared with you the um, all the initiatives that we're putting into place this year to help our students it's been a really really difficult time for year 11 and uh, thankfully the assessment period has ended uh, so we're now into a period of waiting I guess part-time jobs waiting bit of free time bit of bit of a break after all the intensity of year 11 um, but during this time between now and September, it's really important that we, we try and get as far ahead as possible, not to lose our sharpness and our skills and to really skill up ready for September. I have to say, um, I, I was really impressed with a, a large number of year 11s because in the final week or two, as the assessments dropped off and you'd finished courses, some subjects actually started on some bridging work. And um, teachers were saying how, how impressed they were that year 11s that wanted to come back to Macaulay really stepped up even in that week or so before they finished, knowing that it was A-level, knowing that it mattered, and they really worked hard with a really good attitude. And that, I thought, was a really good testament to, to year 11. And that excites me very much about their prospects coming into the sixth form next year. So... Uh, just one or two things that we, we have from now. Bridging work, including subjects and skills, skills based tasks. Mrs. Jeffries will talk about that in a couple of moments. We have um, introduced our first ever taster week. I'm going to call it stepping into stick form. Um, it will include hopefully a free day uh, of some sort, but um, I'll give you some information about that after the bridging work section. Uh, enrollment meetings that will take place on either the results day or for the early enrollment students on Wednesday the 23rd of June. And uh, in September we will be having a meeting with parents. We're going to be involved with parents uh, a lot, um, perhaps more than we have in previous years. So we'll have a setting in evening. It'll be done by Zoom. It'll just be about how you can help us help your children, uh, if you can call them children now, um, in sick form. So the first thing we're going to look at is the launch of bridging work. And Mrs. Jeffries, if you can hear me and unmute yourself, over to I you. Am, yeah, I can hear you, Mr. Shenton. Thank Wonderful. you. And I think you can see me now as well. OK, so bridging work. Um, Mr. Shenton, can you change the slide for me? Is that OK? Okay, so the bridging work, um, we recognise in the sixth form, I think it's it's really something we don't under, we mustn't underplay. The jump from GCC to sixth form and level three courses is massive. It really, truly is. Um, year 11 this year have had a, a particularly difficult time, challenging time. And Ms. Shenton's already said, you know, there is some signs that year 11 are ready and keen to embrace this new um, kind of like section of their learning, new kind of um, challenges for them. But what we want to do for the students is to make sure that this jump into the qualifications that they're going to go on to study at A level or level three, that they are supported as much as possible to really make these um, the step up as easy as possible. The previous slide, so if you go back to the previous slide, so I see what you could, you've actually included. There is some examples there, some screenshots of um, the, the kind of layout for the bridging work. Um, so the left hand side of your screen, there is um, a screenshot of um, the work that Artists, then you can't see it too well at the moment, but what you can see is an overview 
and then the bridging work is divided into different sections which i'm going to talk about in a moment into part one and part two okay thank you can you change slides and again so why is it really important to complete bridging work i'm sure year 11 when they finished on friday took a big I believe and it's sad and, and, and everything else but also looking forward to something exciting and new but we want students to have a really good start a really good can I dig in to September and make every opportunity that we offer them in the sixth form um, a success so what we are setting or what curriculum subjects have set is tasks that support students um, to kind of like develop key skills, key vocabulary, key knowledge, just start to develop the building blocks that are going to help them make a success of their future studies in whatever course they choose to do. And it's not to be overlooked that really one thing that sends a really strong message to us as a 6-1 team is that, you know, we, if you get on with your bridging work, it shows a really fantastic positive attitude to learning. And the sixth form team, we appreciate that things are more challenging, but we also look for those students that are really putting the time, the effort, um, and really kind of like challenging themselves to make the best of their studies. And really, we don't want to be, or no child wants to be sat in the classroom and be the only one that didn't do that and feel a little bit behind from the very beginning, because that's not a good place to be. Okay, can we change slides again? It's been a bit too slow, this is Jeffrey. <laughs> There we go. So how, what we'd like you um, to, to do, um, Year 11 that are listening, but also mums and dads, is we want Year 11 to have a bit of a break. We, we do understand that. This week, teachers are fine tuning the bridging work they wish um, students to look at. And um, what we'd like is either over half term or straight after half term to start to begin to organise your time. The temptation is to uh, finish school thing. I'm not doing anything until September, but that's not a good pattern for anybody. It's a long period. So what I'd like you to do is to organise your time, spread the work that's being set out by your subject tutors um, over the next number of weeks. You guys, like Ms. Shenton's mentioned, um, are going to be invited back into school do some taster sessions the week beginning the 21st of June. And the first part, the bridging work that has been set for your teachers will be live and ready um, from next week. would like you to do as much of that as possible so that when you come into school on the 21st, the actual taster sessions will link to that bridging work. So we want you to organise your time. We want you to keep yourself in good learning habits. Keep your knowledge, your literacy, your numeracy sharp so you're ready to approach your subjects with you know, all the skills that you need to be successful as sharp as they can be. We want you to kind of like also um, kind of like keep yourself mentally stimulated as well because I don't know about anybody else, but sometimes when you don't do a great deal after a period of time, it's quite hard to get back into doing something and we don't really want that to be the case for you guys coming into us in September. So keeping yourself Organise, keeping yourself busy is really important, but also enjoying some downtime as well, because that's, you know, I, I remember my end of year 11 um, summer holiday. It's one that you don't get back again. OK, can we change slides as well? So how can you access this? This will be um, available for you very shortly. Simply, and I will, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together um, some kind of like step by step how to put these screenshots. And I'll send this out to all parents by school comms. You can have a Word document, a list that you can look at and follow. Um, so you simply go onto the school website, go onto the six one button, um, and in there there is, I've checked it just a few moments ago, a section called Year 11 into Year 12 Preparation for Success. And in there there is a list of all the different um, subjects, but there's three particular sections. First bit says Read Me, and we really like you to do that gives you some key information. We'd really like to read through that um, before you start anything. The second part of your um, bridging work um, or second information available to you is skills-based bridging work. And that is focusing on things like your literacy, your numeracy skills. It's also got information there developing effective study skills. It's all of these skills that you need that sit behind the lessons that you study. We really want you to do some of that work as well, because it's really essential that when you come to us in sixth form, not that you're the ever the finished article, but you actually have got good, good patterns for learning. And then your subject bridging work. 
Okay, so each of the subjects that you've chosen to study have put together a document with an overview of information about what you will be doing while studying that subject, but some key tasks. And these key tasks are um, really encouraging you to learn around your subject, to kind of like um, do some research, do something that's interesting over the summer break, so you can kind of like start to have develop a real love for the subjects that you've chosen. On the next slide, there are some examples of the kind of things that you might decide to do. So depending on the subject that you're studying, so if you were studying, for example, art, um, hopefully with everything continuing to open up, you know, you may have a real interest in going to galleries, looking at artists. If you're doing music, um, you know, attending concerts, it's possible. Um, if you're doing sociology, there's loads of things on there. Doing some study behind different theories. Going to, you know, all these things um, that hopefully are low cost, give you opportunities. We call it kind of like you know, an enrichment activity that just gives you a real flavour for some of the things that might be studied in your subject. Why do reading? Um, on the bridging work, there'll be lists of different things that you can access. It might be reading articles or journals. It might be um, watching TED talks um, via the internet. It might be a whole host of different things, media links. But again, all of those different sources are there to support you to learn around your subject. And there also are some compulsory tasks that really would like you to focus on and would like you to bring those with you the week commencing the 21st of June um, so that you are in a position to kind of get involved in the discussions in class um, and be in the best position to kind of like take full advantage of what we deliver in those those um, taste sessions um, and then as over the summer part two of your bridging work which really kind of like gets you thinking about the content that you'll be coming back to study in September so getting ahead of yourself and developing lots of different kind of like bits of information that will link together in your lessons. Okay, can we change the slide? Ooh. Okay, and we're over to. Oh yes. Thank you, thank you, Mrs. Jeffries. Yes, we'll, we'll we'll do your next slide on the taster session bit. Was that the day out one you were looking at? Um, I can see provisional arrangements for that. And I was going to share the biology, um, but I can't because I haven't got. I can't. Oh, okay, I can do that. Yep, all good. So I will do a little screen share with. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at this one. Yeah, so Mrs. Jeffries was talking about um, the what the preparation for success document looks like for, for subjects. This is the art one, and they can see. The different aspects of part one, investigating places of interest. And there's lots of suggestions there. And all subjects have the same format. So part B there would be wider reading and you'd be uh, given maybe a, a reading list, some recommended things to, to look into. Uh, compulsory tasks, that needs to be done for the uh, step into Macaulay, in, step into sick form taste a week and the stretch activities which will get you to do some further thinking. The part two that Mrs Jeffries talked about, this is uh, for completion um, after the Taste a Week really and over the summer, a bit more specific subject based material that will help you uh, prepare for the first weeks. What we'd like to add to this as well is, um, yes, you're gonna have taste sessions that Mr. Shanton's gonna to talk to you about in a moment, but actually doing some of this bridging work will give you a real flavor as to whether or not the subjects that you've chosen are the subjects that you want to study. So you may have chosen a subject like, for example, applied law, that's, you know, sounds really interesting, and then you might realize that's not for you. So by doing the bridging work, you get an insight into um, what you'll be doing for the next two years. And um, what your teachers will do is they will look at the work, it will be looked at, it's not um, just kind of like to keep you busy, it will be looked at, you'll be awarded um, either a pass, um, very few students, it can happen, are awarded a fail, and some students are awarded an exceptional um, kind of outcome, so they've really gone into that bridging work task and they've you know even gone beyond what's been asked of them. Um, and Mr. Shanson will um, agree with me that we gave out lots and lots of prizes um, and vouchers last year. So I think the total was a, over about £800 was awarded to students for each. That would be nice, but no. Um, 
you know, I'd, actually, Ms. Shenton, how much were the vouchers? Because there was a lot of vouchers given out. Yeah, it, it was that uh, they they went up to about thirty pounds. So it depends on how many subjects were were deemed exceptional, basically. So I think if if you had two subjects that were exceptional, I think you got fifteen. I think it went up to thirty if you had four subjects. Uh, but in total, you're right. It was over eight hundred pounds worth of vouchers we gave out. Just a little incentive. Um, I mean, the monetary incentive is nice, but really the main incentive for you is to sit in those classrooms in September mm. and really have, um, you know, a real insight into being able to make a success of, of year 12. Fresh start, new beginning, and hopefully completely uninterrupted by any other factors. Lovely. Mr. Jeffries, that was a really thorough um, delve into the bridging work and uh, colossal amount of work went into it from the curriculum leads so uh, we, we we really hope you give it a really good go over the summer uh, in preparation for next year. Um, I'll talk about the step into sick form taster week so reserve the date it's week commencing Monday the 21st of June. Uh, all sick form applicants with A-level offers will have at least two days in school. Currently we're looking at Monday and Tuesday it will be 8 till 2.15, so that's the normal Macaulay school day. I point that out because we've got a large number of students that have applied from other schools that may not be familiar with the, with the timings. So um, you, you may need to think about how you will get to us for 8 o'clock in the morning, but you've got a good bonus there to leave at 2.15. If transport is an issue, um, then w speak to us because I can negotiate with the bus companies that you can... Uh, get on those buses that, uh, that come to our school. Uh, we'll ask you to wear uniform and if you've got a leavers hoodie that's absolutely fine. Again any issues around that just let me know. Um, basically we want you to be smart and, uh, and feel, if you, if you feel smart you'll act smart. Um, if you're doing the level two foundation year then you'll be in for at least one of the days and as with all things these details will be confirmed in the in the weeks ahead. We, we are mindful that the government are making big announcements for the 21st of June. So we, we just been a bit cautious on final details at the moment. Um, we're hoping to have a free day out. Uh, Mrs. Jeffries will talk about that in a few moments. But those that free day out will be for those that attended the taster lessons. So you can't sort of not come to those and expect to come on the day on the freebie. OK, uh, and then the Wednesday provisionally is I'm calling a filler day. Um, the, we'll, we'll look at we'll look at doing the early enrolments that day. If you've got an early enrollment offer um, for students from other schools, we haven't really had the opportunity for you to come and visit the place. So. Uh, although you'll have, have had your lessons by then, we'll give you a tour of the wider school because some of your lessons may be on one of the other sites. So we'll, we'll do the tour. We'll get to know you and uh, meet you better. Um, in terms of what the days look like, this is a typical scenario for the two days of taster lessons. So we'll come into school and we'll meet up for an assembly. We'll go to the Cantley site main hall. Now we're going to timetable things so that block one and two appear on Monday. Um, so well, I'll give you some timings on the next slide. Block three and four on the Tuesday, but each day we'll start with an assembly that will be different. So it's not going to be a repeat of the same thing on Tuesday. We'll, we'll have different takes on assembly. At the start of the day. Now we will be running um, a session that will be repeated for each of the blocks and I'll explain why in a few moments but that extra session will cover a whole load of things including study skills, school ethos, uh, growth mindset, uh, LAMA which is our pathways program and we'll also be repeating that on the filler day on the on the Wednesday the canteen will be open. We've got a sick form canteen, so you'll get used to the facilities there. And we're hoping that the Cantley Dining Hall will be available to our uh, Year 11 students for hot meals. Timings wise, uh, coming in for eight o'clock. Uh, these are very speculative at the moment, but in principle, we'll have registration and assembly. Um, taste of session number one is 
uh, on Monday for block one, for Tuesday it will be block three sessions. We'll have a good tidy break. Um, so we can use the canteen or the, or the dining hall for snack. Now, the second taster session will be split because lunch will be bang in the middle of it. So there'll be a part one and a part two for the second session of the day. Um, but the reason that the bridging work is so important is because the teachers will be looking at the, t the compulsory tasks at the start of the session, uh, not to judge, but just to see where you are at with it how you've been getting on and how maybe it can be improved or where you can take any of the extension work that you've been trying. So that's why that particular deadline, the 21st of June, is really important. And then we'll close with just a little get together at the end of the day, just to address any questions and to set the scene for the next day. So that's the way it will work. Now, for some students, they may not have a subject in block one might be because they only applied for three subjects or it might be because they applied for four and there's a clash which means that we can't accommodate a choice at this moment um but it will be a really busy time we don't want our students to be sat around doing nothing it's going to be one thing to the next so this session has study skills ethos mindset pathways lots of different aspects um will 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 take the place of the study skill of the of the taster session if that makes sense and that's why it will repeat through each one of the four block sessions now for those students who are opting for four subjects of course you won't get to do that on monday or tuesday so we'll be inviting you back on the wednesday so that you can actually witness that particular uh, presentation as Mrs. Jeffries said, the jump from GCSE to A level is absolutely colossal. And we're not going to put things in just for the sake of it. We're, we're going to put things in because we really need to sow the seed of expectations for the sixth form. OK, um, so that's why this option for four subjects we will be inviting back on that Wednesday. And, and we uh, trust that you will attend. Um, now, Mrs. Hurley, if you can hear us, you can unmute. And Mrs. Hurley is going to talk to us about Lama and also about uh, a bit more detail about the sessions that run for every block that I just mentioned. Are you there, Mrs. Hurley? Hello, yes, I am. Um, well, Lama is Life After Macaulay and it's, it's a unique programme that um, we started quite a few years back now. But what happens is over the two years of sixth form, year 12 and year 13, we have a weekly session which is timetabled called activities or enrichment, whichever you prefer. And it's a calendar of events. And the hope is that this year we will be able to put a full calendar in place and hopefully that restrictions will be lifted. And um, these sessions cover lots of things, as you can see on the screen, life after Macaulay University apprenticeships, university, we have a lot of our alumni, our past pupils, who really like to come in and tell what they can do. Um, so that's a really important aspect of it as well. Next slide, please. So no matter what route our students take after they leave us, we place a huge emphasis on research. And so we can guide and support students, but we won't be telling them what they should or shouldn't be doing in terms of future careers and that. And, you know, it's been mentioned that there's a big jump from year 11 into year 12. But the one thing that remains constant in Macaulay is that support and guidance, whether that's in subjects or whether it's on career paths. And Mrs. Hepworth, who is the careers lead um, throughout the whole school, is very much part of that as well. Thank you. Next one. And this is, this is our plan. The plan is that by having an activities program and having people in to speak to students from you know, all aspects of life, universities, apprenticeships, employers, how to add to your CV. And again, mentioning the, the alumni, um, we have um, Mike Niles, who is a former student, and he started a charity called Befriend. And he comes in and he um, tells our students what this could mean, not only for them, but for also the people um, involved in the charity. And it's a really good way to get involved. And the idea of, you know, enhancing your CV, being prepared, 
for life after sixth form is that we'll avoid any last minute panics. Um, this year, UCAS have um, part of their, their website is what they call the UCAS hub. And it's a one stop shop. And even now it's not too early to start looking at that. And it includes everything about universities, apprenticeships, employment, taking a gap year, student finance. And it is a really good um, source of information. And so from the start of year 12, right through to year 13, that's what our focus is going to be to avoid that last minute dot com panic. Next one, please. So as it says, the LAMA sessions um, will cover all aspects for life after Macaulay. And no matter what route the students take, these sessions will be a stepping stone to the career of their choice. Thank you. Okay, um, the last, I think almost the last bit, the day to remember, we're gonna call it. Um, we're hopeful that as restrictions ease, if, if things continue to go that the, the way that we're hoping they're going, that um, we'll, we'll have some real interesting and fun options um, for the taster week. So on the Thursday and the Friday, you know, being in school on the Monday, the Tuesday, um, and really busy, kind of like, you know, thinking and kind of getting into subjects, but what we want to do as well, we want us to have a bit of fun as a year group and um, kind of do some activities, um, hopefully that are kind of like challenging and fun and motivational and just maybe put you outside your comfort zone and, and all the rest of it. Um, we can't confirm as to whether Kingswood, for, for mums and dads, it's um, where the Earth Centre in Denneby used to be, but it's a big outdoor adventure place where um, it, it's great fun. It's great fun, real adrenaline filled. If we can, we will take us there, um, take you there for a day and do some team building activities. If that's not possible, we have the plan B um, and we'll be taking maybe um, students bowling and doing some kind of team activities, that, you know, within that as well, some competition. But what we want you to, um, to kind of like the message we want is that Fixed form is about working hard and playing hard. And we really want you to have that balance as well. Um, we, we want you to enjoy your time with at sixth form. And when you join us in sixth form, what you'll realize is there's a lot of um, you know, emphasis on your study and you know, thinking about your future. But there's also an emphasis on you participating as part of the school community and part of the sixth form and doing some fun activities together as a year group. And this will be our first kind of like in, interlude into that. And um, as soon as I have confirmation of details, because I'm aware you've been given a lot of information, then this will be shared with you. Um, what I will emphasise is that it is a free day. School, Mr Rooney has agreed to pay for this. Um, however, we do expect that you will have attended these study sessions um, as a qualifier for going and having a bit of a day out on school. Okay, Michelle, I'll pass it back to you. Thank you. I'm just looking through the chat, some brilliant questions. I've uh, responded to one or two. Um, so we've got about 10 more minutes. So I'll just go to the next slide and make sure we've not missed anything. There we go, yes. So uh, just while people are putting their questions in chat, the brilliant questions these, so Jill mentioned from another school, if you uh, are coming from another school, what would be the uniform requirements for the uh, taster week? Uh, to be honest, uh, anything that's smart or business like, for example, you might come from a school where you, you wear black trousers and white shirt or blouse. That would be absolutely fine. If uh, Don't feel that you need to wear your previous school tie. Um, if you've got a leavers hoodie, that, that's absolutely fine, as it is for, for Macaulay students. Um, if you're worried about anything about, about the, the, the uniform, if you like, for, for the taster week, just email us. We don't want you to feel ill at ease uh, just by virtue of the clothes that you wear. Uh, but we're just trying to go for, for smart um, on the whole. Um, one or two other questions. Oh, look. Can I still come to the taste week if I don't know if I'm sure uh, if, if I'm for sure come to sixth form? That's a really good question, and, and I I do hope that people look around. You know, I hope people would stop 
um, and continue their studies at Macaulay. But it's absolutely right for you to look around. And if part of your decision making is to come along and take take the taste a week and see if you like it, that's absolutely a great way to use that that uh, that week. So if you you know not totally decided, yeah, come along, please. That'll be really good. Um, and it's all about making informed decisions at this stage of your educational journey. Um, I think that was from a bit earlier, maybe not, I, but I can return to the, uh, the blocks page, no problem. Let's see. There we go. Okay, I'll just leave that to all and answer other questions. Uh, from Kira, thanks, Kira. If the subject is repeated twice in different blocks, do we come? to come in for both of those days. Basically, Kira, you'll be coming in for both days anyway. Um, for example, if you're studying biology, maths, applied law and philosophy and ethics, then you will have those subjects assigned to a particular block. So you won't be doing two sessions of biology because biology is in two blocks. You'll only do it once because you'll only be assigned biology in one block, if that makes sense. Now, to make life a lot easier, we will be communicating with you with what subjects you have in which block. So hopefully it will make it as smooth as possible. And the, the document that you'll get will have room numbers on it as well. So it, what we'll do in these boxes here, um, to the right of applied law and criminology and drama and so on, will be a room number and that will tell you exactly where you need to be and there'll be a time on it as well, so you know, where you need to be at what times, if that makes sense. So for any one subject, you will only have one taste a session, not two. Okay. Uniform. Yeah, uniform uh, for the taster lessons, that is school uniform if you're from Macaulay, you just mentioned if you're from other schools. Uh, in terms of the um, next year's uniform, we, we do have a parental student booklet called Sixth Sense, which is available through the school website. We haven't updated it for 2021 yet and there will be uh, minor changes. But if you want an idea of the, you know, the various policies and procedures and uniform and so on, that is a great document to look at. It will tell you everything about what to do if you're away. Can you go on university taster days and things like that? So that's a really good document to, to pick up uh, for a bit of light reading, <laughs> I think, in the, in the days and weeks ahead. Um, can we change subjects? Yeah. Obviously, as time goes on, it gets more difficult to accommodate changes, but I'd much rather you tell me if you want to make a change, because the more likely it is I'll be able to accommodate those changes. So the thing to look out for is now that we're so far through year 11, in fact, you've finished, you will have a pretty good idea about what grade you're going to come out with. So compare the entry requirements with what you think you're going to get. And that will give you an informed decision on whether it's going to be a likely thing that we can accommodate. OK, so um, by all means, send me your changes by email. You can do that direct to me, arshenton at macaulay.org.uk or sickform at macaulay.org.uk. Either of those, the right person will pick that up. OK. Will we have forms in sick form? And if we do, how are they arranged? Really good question. Thank you, Jordan, um, or jo Jordan's iPhone, more to the point. Yes, there are forms. They are completely randomly selected. On occasion, there may be extenuating circumstances. You don't actually spend a great deal of time with your forms, though. It's, it's more of a logistical thing for registration uh, a couple of days of the week and also for charitable events and assemblies and so on. So your form group is, is a lot less uh, of a thing, really. You won't see a great deal of your form groups. Okay, what uniform should we call the students wear? We've talked about that. Will we be based? Yeah, so it's a really good question. Again, thank you, Jordan's iPhone. Um, 
when you come into your 12, registration will always be only in the sick form centre. When you go into your 13, remove you across the road to accommodate the next load of uh, your, your 12s. For the taster lessons, they, they will be in various places because some subjects like music have specialist areas. Technology will have a specialist area. Science, I know, will be mad keen to get an experiment. You know, I can really bet <laughs> uh, that the, the science department will want to do experiments. So um, you're likely to be anywhere across the school uh, for the taster lessons. If you're coming from another school, we'll make sure that we've got people that can escort you there. So um, you, you're not uh, put in an awkward position where you're thinking that you're a bit lost. Um, yeah, all, all offers have gone out. Um, so they all went out by school comms. Uh, but if you want to apply, then we will still consider late applications and we will be in touch with you very shortly after you make your application. Uh, you can do that, uh, again, just by emailing us in the stick form. Um, yeah, if you've picked four options and they clash and they don't have any for block three, how will that work? Yeah, unfortunately, that that is uh, the case from time to time. And I'm really sorry if, if that applies to you. Remember that most students will be doing three A-levels only. Uh, and it's really, really unfortunate if if you know, there's a subject that you physically can't do that you really wanted to. But what we always do is we do look to see if we can resolve that in some way. And we do have a few tricks under our sleeve on that. I think the best thing to do there, now that you've looked at the option block form, is to maybe email me direct and I will speak with you direct. And um, we'll, we'll look at what the options might be there. First return date for year 12. Oh, good question. It's in uh, first week of September, uh, Sean. Uh, I don't have the date to hand. Normally it's the Tuesday or no, the Wednesday of the first week back. Okay. Okay. Uh, we've got a really good applications team. Lady P, email me direct with, with your request there. Is that okay? Now we've got less than one minute, so we're going to get chopped off. Uh, can I just take this opportunity to thank you all and um, you'll get this information tomorrow with links to both uh, halves of the presentation. Uh, on behalf of the sick form team, we wish you every success in your GCSEs and we very much look forward to seeing you very, very shortly. Stay safe, everybody. <laughs>